All right, we're going to move on to Thursday night's action. We have a game on Thursday night, Georgia State Panthers at Arkansas State Red Wolves. Georgia State opening up 1-1, 0-1 in the Sun Belt. Arkansas State 2-2, two 0-1 two, in the Sun Belt. This is the Panthers' first road game of the season. They lost at home to the Raging Cages in overtime, 34-31, then followed up two weeks later with a 49-29 win at home over East Carolina. They've averaged 235 yards per game on the ground with junior Destin Coates leading the way with 263 yards and three touchdowns in two games. They averaged just 217 yards per game through the air. 6'5 freshman Cornelius Brown throwing for 434 yards, four TDs, three interceptions, and has a QB rating of 61.3. And that QBR in college is not that bad for the lack of yards and four TDs, three picks. You would think that he would have a lower QBR. It's not that bad. So there are some positives coming from uh, the six foot five freshman. Arkansas State opens their season with a 52-23 road loss at Coastal Carolina before beating Central Arkansas at home 50-27. They're averaging 342 yards per game through the year behind Logan Bonner, their junior quarterback. 741 yards, eight touchdowns, three interceptions, but his QB rating's at 46.1. So even with the, the better-looking stats, not in the QB rating side, they average 125 yards a game on the ground. That's 110 less than Georgia State, the dogs. The Arkansas State opens up at minus 4.5, quickly goes to 3.5. This total opens up at 71.5, and, and it's starting to drop. There are 70.5s on the board. Let's go with Noli Nose, Georgia State, Arkansas State. Yeah, it's an interesting game here in the middle of the week. Uh, Georgia State, this is a, this is a well-coached team under uh, Sean Elliott, fourth year. They're returning six, 16 starters back on, back on their team, so on, on the defense and offensive side. And when you look, the big question mark is Cornelius Brown. That was the big loss that they had from last year. Uh, Ellington going, he was a senior, led the team throughout. But here with Cornelius Brown, when you look at his, his passing stats, it could be misleading because he doesn't necessarily have to throw a lot. He's a dual threat quarterback, and their their main objective is to run the ball. And that's what they're if they can do that here against Arkansas State, which they're giving up 153 yards per game. The defense has looked susceptible through the air as well. I think that they're going to be able to move the ball here against Arkansas, Arkansas State, and Arkansas State. They got lit up by Coastal Carolina, but I will say in that game they were dealing with a lot of COVID situations. They canceled two games back to back due to their lack of depth in certain positions. And that's my big concern here. Um, but the main thing or I want, what I see with these offenses and me as a totals better is the fact that they push pace. You know, you got Georgia State 10th in pace right now. Arkansas State is just 31st, but that's just because they, some of the times the offense hasn't been able to get going like against Coastal Carolina. They look to push the pace significantly more. And to me, there's no way I can take the under – the 70 scares me for the over, and ultimately that's what kept me off the game. Interesting. Maxwell Smart says, got to think Georgia State needs to disrupt Arkansas State's downfield attack. I think this game stays under, and you're given the 71 and a half on the board. Why don't we move over to John Ryan, Georgia State Panthers, Arkansas State Red Wolves. Do you agree with this market move towards Georgia State? It's gone from four and a half point dogs to three and a half point dogs. I, I do, uh, Jimmy. I, I really do. And, and for the many of the reasons that he just outlined, the returning starters uh, are 16 on Georgia State. And uh, I think it's one more actually on Arkansas State. And that falls right into a betting system, too. Uh, we actually track returning starters with a caveat that there are injuries. And then you, you have to take uh, one away for those injuries. So it doesn't apply from the beginning to the end, no matter what. However, the uh, system that we're looking at here is um, gone 30 and eight against the spread for 80% winners. Love those numbers. And we're going to play on underdogs, three and a half to 10 points uh, off a home win and with 16 or more total starters returning from the previous season. So, again, a very simple one to track. Uh, it's been very reliable. Uh, 13 and four over the last three seasons. And uh, again, you, you guys mentioned the, the ground attack. There's, there's no doubt that that's a, a big advantage for a, a, an underdog, especially in a conference game. And I often reference the 28 points. Um, and it's important for both teams. So I kind of have a lean here initially to the under would be my, my feeling here. 
because uh, both teams are going to want to try to control the clock. One team obviously has a much better chance of doing that with a better ground game. Um, but they both have terrible stats when the opponent scores 28 or more. Uh, Georgia State is 5-14 and 14 against the number the last three years when they allowed 28 or more. 1-7 uh, when they allow 35 or more. And then we get down to um, Arkansas State. Uh, when they score 28 or more, they're 82-35 and 35 the last 10 years. And these are all against the spread numbers. Um, and when they gain 6.5 or more yards for total plays, which translates into 27 or 28 or more points. Their record is 42 and 19 the last 10 years, nine and four. So like I said, the key here is that pivot point of 28 points and the lower scoring game. It is, I think it favors Georgia state. I think so as well. Uh, breaking this down with you guys leaning towards Georgia state Panthers here. And that half point is crucial right now to get on it and get that plus three and a half. C-Mac, what do you think of the breakdown? Uh, what are you leaning towards on this Thursday night NCAA football game? Yeah, I'm staying off this, but I would take the points with Georgia State. I would want more than what they're getting. That's why I'm off it here. And I agree. I'd, I'd go with the under. I think the line's spot on. Both these teams can score. And I think it for sure gets in the 60s, but at 71, where it's at right now, I think, right? Yeah. 70? Yeah. I – I lean under. It, it's just one of those ones I, I can't. Yeah, I'm off it. But I go with the dog. I like Georgia State. Arkansas State's played well. You know, they beat Kansas State, which I was on this last week or earlier in the year. So two good teams. It should be a good one. I just I, I can't get a feel, and I don't like the points in the total on this on this game. 